on each one of these lines, you could specify the delivery date. And indeed, if the vendor cannot deliver all of them in one shot, and they tell you we can deliver some of them in this date and the rest in the other day, you have two choices. Either you have to break up the line and change the delivery dates here, and then you know when you're expecting to receive it, or you could select that line and choose a new feature available in Dynamics X 2012 called Delivery Schedule. The same feature is available in the sales order. So you could use the delivery schedule and the sales order as well. As you see, it brings up the total quantity. And then here I say, my vendor has told me that they can ship four of them today and perhaps the rest of it, six of them, maybe a week from now or a day from now. This automatically breaks up the line into multiple sublines. And as you see, it has created additional lines for me. You're not buying 20, you're buying 10, but you have broken it down. In order to make sure you understand this, if I scroll to the left, you see the icon represents the header and the line view. The first line means that that's a master line and the other lines are sublines. That's one indicator. The second one is that on the header, if you remove, it will remove all the related lines. But if I select on the related line, you won't be able to remove it. So they're grouped together. Another difference, you see that there would be no net amount on the master line but the net amount has been indeed distributed across multiple lines. This is a delivery schedule demo that is exactly the same in a sales order. But now I'd like to take this opportunity and demonstrate multiple delivery and over and under delivery concept at the same time. There is a field called receive now. That means out of 10, how many are you receiving right now? Even though the vendor has promised to send everything, maybe they don't. This is the concept of multiple delivery. That was a delivery schedule, but now you have multiple delivery. There are two different concepts. Here I say I'm going to receive four out of 10, and then out of four, I get two, and out of six, I get two. If you pay attention here now, I can go to the purchase and confirm this, and after this, any changes you make within the purchase order requires reconfirmation, but the receive now field. So you can keep changing the value on the receive now field without reconfirming. Now, if I go back to receive tab, and click on the product receipt, a specify a product receipt number, which is equivalent of a packing the slip number of your vendor. The drop down at the top left is set to the quantity to be ordered quantity. Therefore, if I click on the lines, you notice that these are the original quantities that I already have. It doesn't show the master line no more. You have a 10 of white and you have a 4 and a 6 of black. However, if I change the drop down to the receive now, you notice that you only see those that you're supposed to receive right now. So it changes the quantity from the ordered quantity to the receive now quantity. So now as you see, there is a close for receive. Close for receipt column allows you to select it and say, I don't want the rest of it anymore for whatever the reason. Maybe I'm in a production and you were supposed to send me raw materials on time, but you have sent me less. So I just canceled that production order that day. So I don't want the rest. You can close it for receipt. That means I don't accept any more delivery. Let's go ahead and pick and choose the close for receipt for all the lines and pay attention to see what's going to happen. As soon as I do this, automatically the under delivery engine detects to see whether or not you're capable of accepting the under delivery. And if you do, which I've already turned that on, this message will appear. It says that there's an under delivery has been set to be 60%, but for this specific product, you have set it to be 2%. 